in, in our systems, which we provide to you, there is not one magnet built in. There are so-called Tesla coils built in. And those Tesla coils, they are a crucial property which gives you an idea whether a PMF device is efficient or not. It really depends on the, the, the material which is used for that coil and also how many windings this coil have and also how thick the diameter of the wire is the coil is containing of. And for example, in Swiss Bionic Solution devices, you will only and only find uninsulated solid copper coils with a quite thick diameter. Why we do this? Because when you have this kind of uh, construction, then you need only a tiny portion of current in order to create a quite powerful inductive magnetic field. Huh? And I, I always get these questions. How do I compare, for example, my, uh, the, uh, the, the IMRS Prime, our system, with the system which starts with B, or the system which starts with this and that? Well, open it and you will see it right away. Because all the other systems which are on the market, they don't use this. They use insulated mesh wire. And insulated mesh wire is very cheap. And it does by far not create the same inductive force comparing to an uninsulated solid copper coil. You know? And copper became very expensive over time, especially during the pandemic joke. Now it's about five times the value than before the pandemic. But we're still using the same material, the same coil, and the same diameter. Because this is one of the crucial parameters which differentiates a, a, a really good PMF device from an average PMF device. You know? And uh, I, I, I'm not aware of one system which provides the same coil structure than we do. Let me know if you find one. You know, but the ones I saw, it's all mesh wire. The advantage of mesh wire is that you can roll the applicator because it's not solid, you know. Uh, the, the mesh wire they use is exactly the same that is used for the speakers of, uh, of, uh, of a, a sound system, you know. And then yeah, maybe you saw how these copper, these tiny wires look like. They are twisted, you know, and tiny wires even if they are twisted together, they never ever reach the same induction potential comparing to a solid copper coil. You know? So this is very crucial when you look at a PMF device to ask which coils are implemented and how they look like. And by the way, insulation prevents from induction as well. So it just doesn't work, you know? And our approach is because we, we manufacture systems for home use. So we have to make sure that those systems are safe. And you can mainly provide safe PMF systems when the current which is needed is as low as, as possible, but as high as necessary, in order to reach the induction level we need to initiate energetic processes and resonance properties um, when we talk to our organism.